quick tip. Hi guys, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative with a quick tip video. Today we are looking at iDraw, trying to answer a question that was uh, submitted. And uh, the question is, how do you change uh, the dimensions of a, sh of a shape to a specific value after the fact that you've created it? I want to add one caveat. This does not work yet with rounded rectangles. You have to adjust the radius before you actually create the shape. Otherwise, it's actually created the shape with that uh, particular chosen radius locked in. So it's, it's not like the smart shapes or the live shapes, I think Adobe calls them, um, which are very, very cool. But there are ways around that in iDraw. Um, but let me demonstrate, for example, I'll create a square here. And if I want to put uh, some specific dimensions in here, specific values, say I'm, I'm creating something for the web or I, I just need specific values. Here I'm working in pixels. So I can go to this ruler up here in the properties in geometry. And um, I just click in here and just say, I need this to be 900 pixels. And if I hit tab, I can put in the exact height as well. So I can say, I want this to be 250. Enter, and I've got a 900 by 250 rectangle. This will work with inches. Whatever your document settings have, happen to be in, you can change those as well over in the canvas area. And right now I'm working in pixels. I could go to inches, centimeters, or millimeters. If I want to create a, here I'll create a circle here. And if I want to adjust the, the dimension values specifically for a circle, but keep the proportions constrained, I can do that as well. So if I change the width of this to say 500 and click enter, it's gonna give me an, an oval. It's gonna skew my circle. To fix this, you just tick this little uh, link icon. Let me undo this. There's, there's a little link icon here. When I click it, you'll see there's a little link. And that means that these dimensions are linked proportionately. So now if I make that 500, it's going to give me a 500 pixel uh, by 500 pixel circle perfectly. So now I could do something like match this, maybe 250. And if I just type in one, now that this, is, uh, this little link is ticked, I can just type in the height, hit enter, and it will do the other one as well. So now I could line this up here, holding option can drag a copy. And now I could really create my own perfect rounded rectangle however I would like. So there are definitely ways around the fact that you can't, um, you know, adjust the radius of the, of the rounded rectangle shape in iDraw uh, after the fact. I could combine these now if I wanted to, or I could just simply drag them out, do whatever I want, and then merge them into one shape later on. But that's how you go about changing the dimensions after the fact you've created a shape in iDraw to something specific. Thanks for watching the quick tip video. I'll have more to come. Stay tuned. Quick tip.